My name is Melinda Elmer with Century 21 Masters and the Elmer team. Thank you so much for watching. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I'm a certified divorce real estate expert. And a lot of times people ask me, what is the difference between a certified divorce real estate expert and a regular real estate agent? Well, extensive training in handling conflict resolution and heading off issues before they start is a one big important thing. If you're going through a divorce or other high conflict situation involving the sale of real property, there are a number of important questions that you should ask a real estate agent to make sure that you have someone experienced in these situations. Many times issues can come up during a transaction, even a regular transaction that can cause issues and even if everyone seems to be on relatively good terms at the start. Sometimes we also see this in high conflict sales, such as siblings fighting during the sale of parents' property that can cause problems and issues, and of course, divorces. Some questions you may wanna ask your agent, especially in high conflict situations, is how do you settle disputes when a party can't agree? Ultimately, this depends on what the disagreement is. If we have a sale with court orders, I refer back to the court order and reinforce the importance of following the court order. Part of the skills I've been trained in is mediation skills, so that helps as well. I also have specific processes that we follow that are designed to prevent as much conflict as possible. Second question would be, how will you communicate when parties are in conflict? We have a separate but equal communication process with every step along the way of the listing process. If there are attorneys involved, we also keep them informed at important milestones. Third question is, what is your protocol if one party doesn't want to allow access and the other one needs to? Well, first of all, I want to understand the reason for the reluctance. Is it an issue of safety? Is there a concern for privacy? I work to reassure the parties and the options considering the lockbox that grant accesses to realtors only. At the end of the day, we can be flexible as long as access is given. A fourth question is, how do you handle repairs if there's a disagreement about who's going to pay? Well, there are options that we can explore together, such as having a repair person being paid out of closing, or depending on the extent of repairs, we can pay the cost upfront to be reimbursed at closing, or we can give the buyer credit for repairs as well. Number five is, do you disclose to buyer's agents or any advertising that this is a distress sale or divorce listing? Absolutely not. We maintain our client's confidentiality from the general public at all times beyond the life of the transaction. In addition, disclosing a divorce or distress situation on a listing transaction is not in the best interest for our clients who have an ethical and fiduciary duty. If you have any questions, I'm happy to discuss them and you can reach me at 562-316-2915 or melinda at theelmerteam.com. Thanks so much for watching and please feel free to forward and share this with your friends.